David Puccini returns as Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks. Me now is the uh, newly appointed or reappointed, I guess, uh, Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks, uh, uh, MPP, David Puccini for Northumberland, Peterborough South. David, congratulations to yourself and uh, once again being appointed to the cabinet of uh, Premier Doug Ford. Thanks very much, Mark. It's uh, very exciting. It was a wonderful day at Queen's Park today. Lots of people there and uh, just an honor to be sworn in with my colleagues of, uh, of executive at uh, the cabinet. David, talk about uh, when you were informed by uh, Premier Ford that you were going to be joining his cabinet one more time and he wanted you to stay in the role of uh, Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks. Well, he gave me a call yesterday and uh, I was actually at the, just leaving the dentist at, uh, at the Port Hope Health Centre on Ontario Street, uh, gave me a call and uh, let me know that uh, he'd like me to resume uh, this role and to continue on the work we're doing on electrification of our automobile sector, public transit, uh, green steel, uh, cement, and, uh, and of course our parks file. So very, very excited um, and was honored to get the call to work with the premier and everybody else to continue uh, rebuilding the economy, uh, getting it done for Ontarians, um, you know, building the key infrastructure they need, uh, keeping costs down, of course. So the premier touched on that in his speech today and, uh, and, and just working hard for, for the people we serve. Now, David, you and I have spoken many times uh, about you wanting the, uh, being part of uh, the cabinet and being on the inner circle, and you enjoyed being the uh, Minister of Environment, Conservation and Parks. Now that you're going to have a full four years or possibly four years, depending who knows the way politics goes, what do you see or where do you want to go with this file and what didn't you get completed the last time in the short period of time that you were the minister before that you would like to continue on? Thanks, Mark. Great question. I mean, climate change is one of the, the biggest challenges of our generation. So continuing to work with uh, all levels of government, I think one, partnerships and collaboration. The Premier touched on that in, in his themes. And it's through those partnerships that we've seen um, the, the cleanest green steel transition in Canadian history. That is the single biggest initiative, phasing out coal from big industry. Um, so it's through those partnerships that we achieved that monumental achievement uh, just prior to the election. We've got a lot of work there to do uh, still. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward as well. We're on the what they call the Model T stage almost of electric vehicles. And we have a lot of work to do with interoperability. And by that, I mean, you know, how you charge those EVs, uh, supporting EV infrastructure across Ontario. Um, working on the transition with clean, uh, with clean fuel, we were the first province to, um, to implement a robust standard for the, through the clean transportation fuel standard. So we've got a lot of work still yet to do. I'm very excited on combating, obviously, uh, climate change, working with colleagues on that. So clean steel, automobile, public transit, and, uh, and working with all levels of government. Um, secondly, our parks is, a, is an important part of this portfolio as well. And I'm really excited. I mean, we were the first government in, in decades to launch a brand new provincial park. Stay tuned for more on that. We, um, we brought in an online store to generate revenue. Uh, we've expanded green space, largest green belt expansion uh, since, um, since the green belt was first established in 2005. So protecting our land, air, and water mark are, are my big, big priorities going forward and, and helping build a cleaner, greener, more sustainable future so that people can have the dignity of home ownership and we can plan for growth that this province needs and deserves. So David, obviously being on the inner circle as you were at the tail end of, uh, for about a year or so at the end of uh, 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 last mandate and going to be in the full circle now, obviously many tough decisions uh, for this government going ahead. Uh, you know, we look at inflation is on the rise, affordability is on the rise, uh, gas is on the rise. And I know that uh, your government is making a stance on uh, uh, to lower that, but certainly some tough decisions going forward for your government. Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I think the Premier very, spoke very eloquently about that today when we swore in council. Um, this is not an easy time. We're going to have difficult decisions rebuilding from the impacts of COVID-19, uh, the global instability that we've seen in supply chains as a result of the pandemic, but also, Mark, as a result of the conflict and the, you know, the, the egregious war uh, that, that Russia is provoking on, on Ukraine. 
And uh, so, you know, it, it's a tough time. And so to combat that, I mean, we're taking tangible action to invest in, uh, in support. Obviously, the biggest thing, one of the biggest things I heard was the price at the pump. Um, you know, we were the only party that made that, you know, commitment uh, to do it. You saw the other parties once we got closer to election, they actually, for the first time ever, start uh, announcing policies like that. And, and that's because it's an important issue. But for those wa watching at home saying, you know, um, I'm concerned about climate change, obviously close to my heart as environment minister, we are the first province to implement a clean transportation fuel standard. Um, people still have to drive to work. We're not going to click our heels overnight, and we recognize that. And we, you know, we're from rural Ontario, so we understand that more than anybody else. So I think we're supporting Ontarians as we uh, transition to that future, helping them with bigger paychecks, supports for the skilled trades. Premier Ford had a message, and the message to Ontarians watching were: if you're a worker on the factory line in our automotive sector, we've got a job for you. If you're out of work in the north and you want to be a part of the renaissance and the, the whole completion of Ontario's economy through the ring of fire, we've got a job for you. If you're overseas wanting the dream that is Ontario that my grandfather sought out and that so many do in, in Canada, we've got a job for you, an opportunity here in the province of Ontario to fulfill that Ontario dream. And, and we're going to do it through supporting workers. We're going to do it through building critical infrastructure um, to support growing communities. We're going to do it through building public transit to help people get to work faster so that they're spending more time at home with their loved ones. And I'm just excited to be a part of it. David, it was a great day for a ceremony today on, on Queen's Park, a beautiful, bright, sunny day. Who were you able to have there today to be able to see you get sworn in uh, along with uh, other ministers uh, today at Queen's Park? Well, I mean, I'd, I don't know, I'd, I'd rather be where you are. It looks very beautiful there, but I will say it was a beautiful day here at Queen's Park. And I was joined with my fiance, um, my mom and dad, and uh, an office manager, Bonnie, um, who was with me as well. So it was special. I also had um, a staff there as well, um, broader staff from ministry office and some friends. And, uh, and so it was just nice to be there with everybody. And other family as well, um, seeing colleagues and their family. It was just nice to get to know people's family as well. So had them there. It was a special moment for us as well. Um, as when I first got sworn in, it was through Zoom and never got to do this. So it was special for me on a personal note as well.